प्लीज लिजन टू दिस वेरी वेरी केयरफुली सर डू नॉट एवर गिव योर अटेंशन टू एनी अदर प्लेस फॉर द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स बिकॉज इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द की पॉइंट विच आई एम रिपीटिंग विच आई टू किट इन माई फर्स्ट क्लास फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु अटेंडेड माई फर्स्ट क्लास I am repeating this again because you might have forgotten, or if it is a new student who is listening, you might have not heard about it. Everyone, please pay complete attention at this concept. Conceptual clarity is extremely important when you start listening to all our classes. Now see here, sir. Now everyone listen carefully, sir. Suppose, for example, I have a I, I have a shop. Assume that I am a shopkeeper. Assume that I am a shopkeeper. I am selling some pens or something in my shop. I have a stationery shop in Simple. I have a pen. You are my friend. You are my friend. You called me and asked whether I am there in my shop. I said yes, I am there in my shop. You told that you want to purchase this kind of pen, some kind of pen you want to purchase. I said that is there in my shop. Please come to my shop. I am also available right now. Now you are coming to my shop. I know what is the kind of pen that you are trying to purchase right now. You told it in phone itself. So I opened the box before you came. Before you came, I opened the box. When I opened the box, I took one of the pen. The pen is showing as eighty rupees. The pen is showing as eighty rupees. That eighty rupees, whatever the pen is showing, that is the price I paid it in a different shop two days before. And I purchased paying eighty rupees to my shop, right? I paid and I paid eighty rupees in a different shop. I purchased it and kept it in my shop. That means cost price for me is eighty rupees. Cost price for me is eighty rupees. But you are my friend. You came to my shop. I gave you the pen. You also will see that it is showing eighty rupees on the pen. You will also pay eighty rupees and you will leave the shop. But I paid eighty rupees and I purchased. I sold it for same eighty rupees for you. I am not having any transaction. Everyone will definitely agree for my fact that any business will definitely run with profit. If it is not running with profit, they should close the shop. So in this transaction of eighty and eighty, I am not having any profit. So what I thought is, before you are coming to my shop, before you are coming to my shop, I have a sticker already present in the pen as eighty rupees. I will remove that old sticker. I will remove that old sticker of eighty rupees, and I will mark whatever I like. I will mark it as hundred rupees, for example. Assume that I am marking it as hundred rupees. I am removing the old sticker of eighty rupees, and I am marking something which I love the most. Assume that I am marking it as hundred rupees. Whatever the price which I am removing and marking on my pen. Whatever the price which I am marking newly on my pen, such kind of price is called as a marked price. Such kind of price is called as a marked price. I am assuming that I marked it as hundred rupees. Now you came to my shop. You came to my shop. You asked me the pen. I opened the box. I gave the pen for you. Actually, I purchased it for eighty. But you, you are seeing there are hundred rupees. You will pay me hundred rupees. You will get out of the shop. You will pay me hundred rupees. You will get out of the shop. I am having twenty rupees profit as of now. Whatever the profit that I am having, when I am removing the old sticker and marking something of my own, such kind of profit is called as markup. Markup also in a way it is profit. In this example, markup is nothing but twenty rupees. That means I purchased for eighty. You paid me hundred. I am having profit. That profit, whatever I am getting, that profit is called as markup because it is coming from market price or the list price. Market price and list price both are same. Now see here. If I simplify. This twenty can be written as hundred minus eighty. Twenty can be written as hundred minus eighty. Twenty is nothing but markup. Hundred is nothing but market price. Eighty is nothing but cost price. Markup is nothing but market price minus cost price. Suppose I want to express markup in terms of percentage. I already told you 
numerator if it is profit percentage numerator is profit if it is loss percentage numerator is loss if it is markup percentage numerator is markup denominator will always represent the initial value initially cost price is coming or market price is coming initially cost price is coming put it in the denominator because it is percentage into 100 percentage now the story will not end here kindly do not by heart any of these formulas i am telling you the easiest way to remember this scenario so that you can solve any question that easily so easily suppose for example the story will not end here because unfortunately you are my friend so you did not that ag easily agree for paying 100 rupees and go out of the shop you started asking for a discount you started saying that you definitely need to give me discount because we are all from childhood friends or whatever it is so you started bargaining and asking for a discount i agreed to give you 10 percentage discount i agreed to give you 10 percentage discount now on which value will i give you 10 percentage discount i will give you 10 percentage discount on the price which you are seeing right now on the pen that is that means i will give you 10 percentage on 100 what is the 10 percentage of 100 10 percentage of 100 is 10 rupees that means i will give you 10 rupees discount on market price of 100 if i give you 10 rupees discount i will sell this product for how many rupees i will sell it for 90 rupees same explanation once again can i say that can i say that this 10 can be written as 10 can be written as 100 minus 90. This 10 is nothing but a discount. 10 is nothing but a discount. 100 is nothing but a market price. 90 is nothing but selling price. Very, very important thing. Discount is nothing but market price minus selling price, which you don't need to buy heart. You can remember this small story and derive it whenever you require. Suppose I want to find a discount percentage. If I want to find discount percentage, profit percentage, numerator is profit. Discount percentage, numerator is discount. Denominator is always your initial value. Out of discount is between two parameters, market price and selling price out of these two parameters which is happening happening initially market price is happening initially put it in the denominator because it is percentage into hundred percentage kindly avoid by hearting formulas this is exactly what I taught you in my first class of profit loss and discount where I wrote 13 formulas on the right hand side and I eliminate all the 13 formulas and asked you to throw away that formula to the dustbin within 10 to 15 minutes of my class. You know the concept, you remember the scenario, you can do all the problems based on market price, markup, discount and selling price so easily sir. I believe that the idea is very very clear for you and as I said already margin percentage margin percentage is nothing but how much profit I am getting with respect to the selling price I explained you this terminology some time before already I believe that the idea is very very clear for you before we move on to problem solving kindly comment in the live chat sir now see here before going on to the next key point Please remember this statement very very carefully. Markup is always between two parameters called as cost price and market price. Markup is always between two parameters cost price and market price. Similarly, discount is always between two parameters market price and selling price. That means markup is always between cost price and market price. Anything which is between these two parameters is called as markup. Anything between these two parameters, market price and selling price, it is called as a discount. In simple language, markup is nothing but market price minus selling price. Discount is nothing but market price minus, sorry, markup is market price minus cost price. Discount is nothing but market price minus selling price the intermediate person here is the market price now see here sir. everyone listen carefully unless and until they give it with some other parameter in the question these are the things markup is always between cp and mp discount is always between mp and sp don't get confused with these terminologies now see here we all know that in our first class if you remember we all discussed or we all wrote these three important formulas anyway we deleted these formulas later selling price is equal to 
cost price into 1 plus profit percentage. This was one of the formula which I wrote as my fifth formula which I remember. Then 12th formula what I wrote is selling price is also equal to market price into 1 minus discount percentage. Again the 13th formula which I also wrote in my first class. Anyway we did not use any of these formulas so do not worry about it. 13th formula is market price is equal to cost price into 1 plus markup percentage. 1 plus markup percentage. Very very important relationship. I want to find the relationship between profit percentage, discount percentage and markup percentage. Everyone please listen to this very carefully sir. Can I say that selling price is given by cost price into 1 plus profit percentage. I am giving you the proof right now. You don't need to derive it in the examination hall. Anyway directly you can start using it. But this selling price is also equal from the 12th formula that it is market price into 1 minus discount percentage. This is equal to cost price into 1 plus profit percentage. Now if I simplify further, if I shift this cost price to the left hand side, so it becomes market price divided by cost price into 1 minus discount percentage is equal to 1 plus profit percentage. Please observe your 13th formula market price this cost price shifted to the left hand side. Market price divided by cost price will become what? It will become 1 plus markup percentage. Substitute 1 plus markup percentage into 1 minus discount percentage into 1 minus discount percentage is equal to 1 plus profit percentage. In simple language, instead of remembering this lengthy, instead of remembering this long, in simple language, can I say that markup is starting with a letter called as M. I will write it as FM. F is some dummy variable. I will write it as FM into discount is starting with a D. I will write it as FD. Profit is starting with a P. I will write it as FP. Very, very important relationship. The relationship between profit percentage, markup percentage and discount percentage is given by FP is equal to FM into FD. Extremely very very important relationship. The relationship between profit percentage, markup percentage and discount percentage is given by FP is equal to FM into FD. Now see here sir. In simple language can I remember like this? FP profit is nothing but increase. Profit is nothing but increase and therefore it is 1 plus the profit plus is also nothing but increase because profit is nothing but increase it is nothing but 1 plus profit percentage similarly markup is also in a way profit that also is nothing but increase therefore it is also 1 plus the markup percentage and discount as a shopkeeper you should always think if I am a shopkeeper if I am giving you discount that means I am losing something discount is losing therefore it is 1 minus discount percentage I believe that the idea is very very clear before I start solving problems. FP is equal to FM into FD where F is some dummy variable eat the relationship between profit percentage, discount percentage and markup percentage. Kindly comment in the live chat sir. Now very very important thing. Now we are discussing. We are moving on to problems on problems based on market price, markup, problems based on problems based on market price markup discount markup discount selling price cost price profit percentage loss percentage that means earlier whatever we solved we never came across these terminologies in our problems now those also will keep coming in the next few problems. Kindly listen to this with utmost attention sir. I am going very slow. Kindly do not expect me to keep repeating two times, three times and I will not do it because I need to cover maximum number of questions. Listen carefully sir. Please see the first question. Very very important question. If the discount percentage is 11.11 percentage, 
profit percentage is 14.28 percentage markup percentage is how much just now i told you a concept saying that the relationship between profit percentage markup percentage and discount percentage is given by fp is equal to fm into fd now profit is nothing but it is 1 plus something 14.2857 percentage i explained in first class it is 1 by 7 in fraction fm fm i don't know which is markup i will keep it as it is discount means it is 1 minus something 11.11 percentage i explained in first class it is 1 by 9 simplify 1 plus 1 by 7 is 8 by 7 is equal to fm into 1 minus 1 by 9 is 8 by 9 8 will cancel out so fm will be equal to 9 by 7 the meaning of 9 by 7 again do not waste your time by substituting back saying that fm is nothing but 1 plus markup percentage this is 9 by 7 markup percentage is equal to 9 by 7 minus 1 2 by 7 and then get the answer don't waste your two or three extra steps sir directly fm i got it as 9 by 7 that is enough for me denominator is 7 write down the same 7 in the denominator 7 is becoming 9 that means there is an increase of 2 increase represents markup percentage 2 by 7 i thought it in my first class again 28.5714 percentage each and every fraction to percentage which i thought in my first class for close to half an hour it is extremely important if you don't know that you will definitely struggle in profit loss and discount sici topics sir. another question let us not get to carry forwarded by one question suppose discount percentage is 40 fp is equal to fm into fd fp is equal to fm into fd question is find the profit or loss percent so fp i will keep it as it is markup means i am gaining it is one plus 20 percentage is nothing but one by five so into fd one minus 40 percentage is nothing but 2 by 5. If I simplify further, 1 plus 1 by 5 is 6 by 5. 1 minus 2 by 5 is 3 by 5. This is nothing but 18 by 25. FP is equal to 18 by 25. The meaning of that is denominator is 25 initially write down the same 25 in the denominator 25 is becoming 18 25 is becoming 18 that means there is a decrease of how much there is a decrease of 7 decrease represents loss percentage decrease is not representing profit so it is not fp in this case it should be fl right decrease represents loss percentage 1 7 by 25 can be written as 7 into 1 by 25 100 by 25 is 4 percent what is 7 into 4 7 into 4 is 28 percentage so easily within few steps you can get the answer for either fp or fm or fd so easily you can get it sir that is the reason so easily only they will get it that is the reason anilayar classes people will keep watching so many videos across suppose tell me the answer sir this question says markup need to be found out first question is we need to find markup percentage second question is we need to find profit or loss percentage third question is i need to find a discount percentage so fp is equal to fm into fd profit is 1 plus 14.28 is 1 by 7 which i thought in my first class fm is 1 plus 28.5714 is 2 by 7 into fd discount i will keep it as it is simplify further it is 1 plus 1 by 7 is 8 by 7 1 plus 2 by 7 is 9 by 7 into fd this is nothing but 7 cancels so fd is nothing but equal to 8 by 9 denominator is 9 write down the same 9 in the denominator 9 is becoming 8 that means there is a decrease of 1 decrease represents a loss or discount percentage in this case decrease represents a discount percentage 1 by 9 i taught you in my first class if the denominator is 9 answer is a multiple of 11 11 into numerator 11 into 1 is 11 write down twice discount percentage is 11.11 percentage where is the difficulty please educate me 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर फाइंडिंग मार्कअप परसेंटेज सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वी आर फाइंडिंग प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंटेज थर्ड क्वेश्चन वी आर फाइंडिंग डिस्काउंट परसेंटेज एंड सो ब्यूटिफुली ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व वेरी वेरी इजीली बाई ए एन सी मेथड काइंडली कमेंट इन द लाइव चार्ट सर काइंडली कमेंट इन द लाइव चार्ट I want maximum number of students to comment. Kindly comment in the live chat. Very very easy logic. The relationship is given by F P is equal to F M into F D. Simple. I told you the proof also. Kindly comment, sir. Maximum comments. I request you to cooperate in giving me comments so that I will also understand what is clear for you, what is not clear for you. Yamala. can you please explain the last step of a third problem last step is very simple ma i got fd as 8 by 9 whenever denominator is something keep the same denominator keep it as 9 itself now 9 is becoming 8 9 is becoming 8 that means there is a decrease of how much 1 write down that 1 1 by 9 convert back to percentage 11.11 percentage prabhu it is very simple why is that you are not understanding how to convert into percentage you did not attend my first and second class i will easily come to know who has attended who has not attended by understanding whether you have understood percentages to fractions or not when you miss something definitely next topic is very difficult sir there is no doubt about it santosh let us see whether we will get a difficulty in paragraph problems or not let us wait for some time prabhu also agrees for my statement and he says yes sir i can understand it sir lochana you can grab the opportunity but unfortunately you will be not getting at the same prize what the 10 students got it when i took from Three o'clock to five o'clock class. There will be slight increase in the price, which my finance team are yet to update me via mail. You can grab it if you do not want to grab it. Keep continuing the same mistake. A day will come you will you will realize the importance of our content. I cannot tell that right now, Archana. That is a half an hour topic which I took it. I cannot waste half an hour because of so many students who have already watched that are already listening to the class. you will also say this statement archana because when i take the same topic which you have already attended and if i repeat that topic once again you will also have that feeling that shit sir is repeating same thing and i am not learning something new right same is the case with so many students who are listening right now i cannot repeat i am telling you i cannot definitely repeat if it was one or two minutes i would have done it but because it's something which i need to discuss for half an hour i definitely cannot repeat i am extremely sorry you can watch all those things if you are an enrolled student you can watch it and you can learn it now please see this question sir please see this question we will keep solving some beautiful questions from now onwards just keep on listening carefully sir your question is sir. if a merchant offers a discount of 40% on the marked price if a merchant offers a discount of 40% on the marked price of his goods that means discount percentage is given as 40 percentage what is the meaning of 40 percentage 40 by 100 and we know that if it is a discount percentage numerator is discount denominator will always be the initial value discount will always come between two parameters marked price and selling price initially the marked price that means can i say that marked price is 100 rupees marked price is 100 rupees discount is 40 rupees discount is 40 rupees that means marked price is 100 rupees discount is 40 rupees what should be the selling price then selling price should be 60 rupees right selling price should be 60 rupees now read the next statement sir we did not continue the question in fact if a merchant offers a discount of 40% on the marked price of his goods and thus ends up selling at cost price that means and thus ends up selling at cost price means 
ends up selling at the same cost price. That means whatever selling price you got here right now as 60, cost price should also be the same value 60. That means he will end up selling at the same price which was the cost price. Cost price and selling price both are absolutely same in the meaning of it. So cost price is also 60. Find is markup percentage. Markup percentage means I told you already that markup percentage means cost price is 60, marked price is 100. That means there is a profit of 40. This profit of 40 is called as markup. So markup percentage is there is an increase of 40 from the initial value 60. 4 by 6 is nothing but 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is nothing but 66.66 percentage. Beautifully you can solve the questions if you have understood the concept what I thought before all these problem solving.